This dad paid for chicken McNuggets for his son. I watched my son eat nuggets a million times. I never saw that. But they weren't loving it when the eight-year-old allegedly bit into a mouse that was fried inside of it. He had to be taken to the ER. Somebody has to be held accountable. The McDonald's restaurant at the center of this and what we found out from the local health department in New Jersey. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. A McDonald's chicken McNugget. Love them or hate them. Their website says they're supposed to be tender, juicy, made of all white meat. But one dad says when his eight-year-old son Aiden took a bite of one back on August 6th, he got a different kind of meat in his chicken McNugget. When he realized there was a mouse tail inside, he lost it. And I seen, I'm like, holy sh, you know, holy sh. Like I was pissed. Derek Wilson was so upset. He had to calm himself down before he raced back over to this McDonald's on Central Avenue in East Orange, New Jersey. He lives nearby and says that he has never had a problem and gets Aiden the McNugget meal every time. He bit the nugget, spit it out, and he was like, Dad, what's this? I'm like, what's what? And then I looked at it. So I, I immediately, I'm be honest with you, I got upset. I got irate. He took a picture as proof and took the McNugget to show the manager. So when I uh, opened up the nugget, you can see like, I guess it was a part of like a mouse, like the left leg and the tail part of it. That's why I went over there to try to talk to the owner. But they just like, like brushed me to the side. They told him to call a corporate complaint number and he left a message, but never got a call back. He told Aiden's mother what happened, who also called. She got no response. So she called the restaurant again. I asked the lady, I said, did you see the nugget yourself? She was like, I, I did. She was like, and I said, how did it look to you? She didn't want to say too much, but she was like, I, I've seen it. We asked her about Aiden, who's her youngest son and how he's been since that day. I made dinner the other day and he was like, I just want rice and broccoli. And I said, you need a meat. He's like, no, nah, I really don't need a meat. So I can tell that it's already going to start affecting him. It's negligence. There's a, a, clearly a process issue. There's a process failure. Says attorney Jeremy Robinson, who is now representing the family. He says the restaurant itself is not to blame. It's the corporation as a whole and the manufacturer responsible for flash freezing their chicken McNuggets. With great... <laughs> Great privilege comes great responsibility. And so uh, McDonald's, just like any other restaurant that negligently serves an animal in its chicken McNugget to a child who now is going to suffer for the rest of his life with post-traumatic stress disorder, a lawsuit that we will draft will, will be drafted in negligence. It's not the first complaint either of this caliber in the news recently. In 2019, a woman sued a McDonald's in Florida over the temperature of a McNugget. It was so hot that it singed her four-year-old daughter's leg when it fell in her car seat. She suffered severe burns to her thigh. The family sued for $14 million, but they walked away with about 800,000 of it. And this, according to the Herald Ned, a family is now suing a McDonald's in Linwood, Washington, after a four-year-old found a box cutter with the blade inside of his Happy Meal box. The lawsuit alleges that the knife nearly cut the child and caused them immediate emotional distress. This is a billion dollar, multi-billion dollar corporation that has to take better care. This is not just going to just be brushed away. Attorney Robinson says that McDonald's has filed an insurance claim and he'll draft a demand once everything is processed and medical bills are submitted. In the meantime, we did reach out to the East Orange Department of Public Health about this specific McDonald's. We wanted to know more about their record when it came to inspections. They say that their inspections are up to date. They just got one in May and they have no significant violations. Now we did reach out to McDonald's Corporation as well for a response. We're still waiting to hear back. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.